Before I start preparing our meal today, I want to make sure that I wash my hands with warm water and soap. And I'm going to wash my hands for about 20 seconds. So we're going to be preparing our roasted sweet potatoes now. And before I start peeling the sweet potato, I'm going to go ahead and spray my baking sheet with some nonstick cooking spray because my hands are probably going to be messy in a second. Okay, and I'm going to be peeling my sweet potato with a vegetable peeler. Okay, now that I'm done peeling the potato, I'm going to cut it. And I'm cutting it in about one inch cross sections. And then I'm going to cut each of those in half and quarter them. So now that I'm done cutting the potatoes, I'm going to be placing them in a one gallon Ziploc bag. And we'll be able to more evenly coat the potatoes. So we've got all of our potatoes in the Ziploc bag. And now I'm going to take about two tablespoons of olive oil and I'm going to just dump them into the bag. And I'm also going to take a tablespoon of cinnamon and just a pinch of black pepper. I'm going to seal my Ziploc bag and give it a shake. See how we're getting nice even coating on the potatoes of all that cinnamon? And you guys can't smell it, but it smells delicious. Okay, and remember I already have a prepared cookie sheet with cooking spray on it, and I'm just dumping the sweet potatoes into the baking sheet, spreading them out into a single layer, and they're ready to put in the oven. And I've already preheated our oven at 425 degrees, and they'll be ready in about 20 minutes. Remember about halfway through baking our sweet potatoes, we're going to take them out of the oven and turn them, and then return them back to the oven. First, I'm going to prepare a dry rub for our pork chops. I'm going to use lemon pepper and garlic powder to season. They're both low sodium. I'm going to take one teaspoon of lemon pepper and one teaspoon of garlic powder, mix them together, and then sprinkle both sides of our pork chops with the mixture. Now I'm going to take our pork chops over to the stove. I've already preheated a tablespoon of olive oil in a fry pan over medium-high heat. I'm going to let them sear on this side for about three minutes and then I'll return to the pork chops to flip them over. It's been three minutes so I'm going to go ahead and flip our pork chops. Our pork chops have had a chance to cook on each side for three minutes. Now I'm going to add a quarter cup of water. Now I'm going to place a lid on the pan and let our pork chops simmer for about five minutes. Our pork chops have been simmering now for about five minutes. I'm going to remove the pork chops from the pan and place them on a clean plate. Oh, they look beautiful. Next I'm going to create a really yummy sauce to go with our pork chops. I'm using the pan drippings and adding three tablespoons of lemon juice. I'm going to stir it around for about a minute. It's thickening up a little bit and it smells really good. Now I'm going to pour the drippings from the pan onto the pork chops. Today I've chosen to prepare a simple toss salad as a non-starchy vegetable for our meal. I've taken a head of romaine lettuce and washed it and torn it into small bite-sized pieces. I've also peeled and chopped both a carrot and a cucumber. I'm going to pair my salad today with a low-fat balsamic vinaigrette. It contains 70 calories in a two tablespoon serving, which is half of a typical full-fat salad dressing. A quarter of our plate today, we're filling with a protein food, and today we've chosen a lean pork loin chop. Another quarter of our plate, we're filling with a starchy food. Today we've roasted delicious sweet potatoes. And finally, a half of our plate is filled with a non-starchy vegetable. Today, we've made a simple tossed salad and added a low-fat balsamic vinaigrette. 
I'd encourage you to have water with your meal or eight ounces of a low-fat milk.